What do you think of when you think of a Roblox avatar? Do you think of a noob type character? Whatever your own avatar looks like? A slender avatar? Or literally any kind of avatar? Now I obviously don't have access to your answers, but I can already tell that not a lot of people were thinking of a pile of polygons. This is an avatar that was once available on Roblox. All the way back in September of 2008, through a certain combination of body colors and items. It only worked on the website, but for a few days, just by wearing a certain combination of body colors and an actually completely normal t-shirt that had already existed for at least a year prior, their avatar went from this to this. In this video, I'm going to be exploring the many different avatar-related oddities that have transpired throughout the years. You can't talk about Roblox avatar exploits without mentioning X Scene X, also known as Hamadryad. This dude was pretty active on Roblox and was a relatively well-known exploiter all the way back in 2009. X Scene X basically used an exploit to upload t-shirts to Roblox, which Roblox thought were t-shirts, you know, image files, but were actually just .xml files. These were almost like scripts that allowed X Scene X to do things like wear hats they didn't own completely for free and change their in-game walking speed and max health. Using this exploit, you couldn't only just spawn in hats on your avatar that you didn't have, but you could just spawn in any script into any game you were in, or literally do anything to any game because .xml files were natively supported by Roblox Studio. X Scene X was seen exploiting using these t-shirts in games like Sword Fights on the Heights, multiple times around this time frame. Though it wasn't long before Roblox took action against the guy and banned his accounts, another pretty big example is Nate2800, who basically used this exploit in June of 2009 to make this crystal accessory. Keep in mind that this time it wasn't used with malicious intent, just to make a cool looking avatar before UGC accessories existed. This glitch was also very quickly patched out for the time being. Notice how I said for the time being. I'm unsure how it worked this time around or who started it, but in early 2021, a variant of this old exploit from 2009 was found, and users started to upload quote, t-shirts again to make their avatars look completely different from everyone else's. These actually didn't involve XML files this time, but worked very similarly. They just had Roblox Studio model files or RBXM files inside the t-shirts to make them look the way they did. Another difference or disadvantage in this case, compared to XCNX now patched out method, is that these apparently didn't work in game. They only showed up on your profile, much like Smile Dude's glitched avatar from 2008. The most famous cases of these 2021 exploits are Fountain Likes profile file which I do apologize for making you look at an Among Us meme in 2022, PopBob256's avatar preview which shows a render of the Jigglypuff model from Super Smash Bros Melee which is pretty cool, and then there's Firearms profile. I think we should stop looking at examples though. On the topic of exploits relating to Roblox avatars, Lucky Maxer is another pretty notable example, especially because this dude was a Roblox administrator who used to work on Roblox gears at one point, not just some random script kitty who had just installed Fiddler. This was right after Egg Hunt 2017, after a hat called the Bunny Ears 2017 was created. After the event was over, Lucky Maxer supposedly updated this 2017 bunny ears hat to have a module script inside of it. Through some loopholes due to this module script now being there, Lucky Maxer was now able to run any script in any Roblox game that they wanted. They were also terminated for a while after this, but eventually their account was reinstated and the name was changed. <laughs> I think one of the most popular avatar optical illusions in the earlier days of Roblox was the transparent torso shirt. The most popular version of this shirt had ads that showed a character with a legitimately transparent torso. If you clicked it, you'd see this. A shirt that actually does look like a transparent torso from the 2D view that it defaults to. You spend 15 Robux on it thinking it's gonna work in game and... Nope. 
It's not some crazy glitch or exploit, it was just an optical illusion. If you even looked at it from a 3D view, you would have noticed that immediately. This person made hundreds of thousands of Robux off the shirt all the way back in 2014, and it was also just now content deleted all the way in 2022, just two days from me recording this. There were also other versions of this shirt that existed as far back as 2011. This is the happy home of Robloxia, created in January of 2007. This is one of the most iconic things on Roblox, as it was not only the default place for everyone who created a Roblox account for years, but it was also used in many games. It's January 17th of 2007, and Shedletsky publicizes a post on the Roblox blog about a new contest. Furnish this home and your furniture will be put in its own category for hundreds of thousands of people to use from the free models toolbox. While this did happen, the category no longer exists in the toolbox, and this whole contest predates the official model maker badge. There were 9 winners chosen for having the best Roblox furniture at the time. For context, avatar customization was incredibly limited. You could only have a set group of body colors and shirts, packages, t-shirts, faces, hair, hats, everything else didn't exist yet. The only exception was admins and select people that the Roblox administrators chose up until March of 2007 when t-shirts were finally made public for everybody to have. The prize for this contest was whatever character you wanted as long as it didn't have a copyrighted graphic included in the avatar. What you had to do was make your avatar in Roblox Studio and publish it as a model and submit it as your avatar. Then an admin would replace your current boring avatar with whatever you made. The reason I'm talking about this is because not only were you just allowed to change t-shirts and faces, you were allowed to add any properties to the parts in your avatar. This resulted in people like Rox25 having half transparent limbs and the user Mike having reflectant shiny gold limbs. As well as this, glitches arose because of the very primitive avatar customization. Mike had trouble playing games such as Crossroads, which had the brick moving tool because the limbs in Mike's avatar were not locked in Roblox Studio. This meant that they could be dragged around which would either de-limb him or kill him entirely depending on which one was moved. This is the entire list of every single avatar given out during the contest. Online, a trend was going around where people try and see how much of one thing they can fit on their avatar. This is because of the large amount of items relating to just one topic, mostly being UGC or user created accessories. For example, in this video alone, the YouTuber Laughability was able to fit 167 knives on his avatar. In another video, 97 bats on one avatar. In this screenshot alone, someone named Who's Trade is wearing 51 bananas on their avatar, thanks to the accessories that now exist due to the UGC program. Anyways everyone, thank you for watching this video. Especially over the last 16 years that Roblox has existed, avatar customization has come a very long way. It's really crazy to see honestly. If you enjoy, do things you do when you enjoy a video. Thank you for watching until the end, and I'll see you in the next video.